Yo, 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 Michael T. Porter here. Welcome to Rooted in Music TV, where everything that we talk about, everything that we discuss is rooted in music. I got another bomb episode for y'all, but before I begin, y'all hit that like button, that subscribe button, that share button, pass me around, pass me around, Facebook, Instagram, and all other social media platforms, and y'all know how I feel about my chising. If you guys like to support the channel, cash app, dollar sign, Michael US. Also, check out my website, 250 Gemstones dot com dot co nba young boy is suffering from mental health let's see let's see this is according to hiphopdx.com article written by michael sapanara s-a-p-o-n-a-r-a sapanara nba young boy has been granted a house arrest amendment that will allow him to leave his residence for medical appointments per double xl judge sheely I'm mean, sorry, Shelly D. Dick. Okay, Shelly, get that. You understand what I'm saying? Get that, get that. Signed off on young boy, born Kentrell Golden, receiving a modification to his house arrest on Tuesday, December 19th, due to his alleged deteriorating mental health. The boy is crazy. The boy is off. The defendant is restricted to a 24-hour-a-day lockdown at his residence, except for medical appointments and court appearances or other activities specifically approved in advance by the defendant's uh, pre-trial supervision officer. With the amendment, young boy can now leave his Utah estate to attend various doctor appointments in the area. Utah? This man live in Utah? Talking all that gangster stuff? Utah? What gangster stuff is popping off in Utah? Judge Dick iced the idea of young boy traveling outside of Utah for work-related duties, a modification the rapper's team had also requested. Last month, NBA young boy filed court docs claiming that the house arrest has taken a toll on his mental health and led him to having depression. Federal prosecutors initially pushed against Judge allowing young boy to travel for any reason outside of his court dates in Louisiana gun sick. In, I'm sorry, in Louisiana gun case. The United States fails to see how the defendant's current conditions of pretrial release prohibit him from seeking and obtaining mental health treatment. Assistant U.S. Attorney William K. Morris, he wrote this last month. The trial in the Baton Rouge Rappers federal gun case is expected to finally begin in July 2024. Young boy will remain under strict house arrest regulations, which he has been under since 2021 until the trial concludes. In other NY, I'm sorry, in other young boy news, young boy recently sat down for an interview with fashion influencer Liz Lizzie Perry Corn, but the rhymer was left less than happy about the experience. Let's see. If you guys want to read the rest of the article, it goes on about other stuff going on with young boy hip hop DX. I'm gonna meet you on the other side to give you my opinion about this nigga crying and moaning about mental health let's go would y'all like my opinion would y'all like my opinion about nba young boy hooping and hollering and crying about mental health of course you do that's why your ass is here i don't know these new age gangsters i've never seen so many gangsters cry in my life there's one thing about the gangsters in the 80s, the 60s, the 70s, the 80s, and I really did. The late 70s, 80s, and 90s. Hell, even the early 2000s, you didn't see niggas rewinding like this. I ain't gonna lie, gangsters had a good run. I think they had about a 30, 35 year good run. I mean, the straight up one, but even then, they had some crybaby boohoo ass niggas. For one, I didn't know this nigga lived in Utah. For two, Talking all that gangster stuff and you crying about mental health. Let me ask you something. If it's true about the lifestyle that you live, your victims, right? You're a criminal because you have victims. How many of those victims pleaded for mercy? I'm talking about all the gangsters out there. All the gangsters. How many of y'all victims pleaded for mercy? How many people that you robbed and that money 
You know, was for their kids. That money was for somebody sick in the family. That money was for a debt owed to a, another gangster. Now they coming for him. You don't give a damn because you got yours. Do all this gangster stuff. And then when the when the system <laughs> put pressure on the nigga ass, then you want to say, oh, oh, my mental health. Oh, my God. I can't handle being in the house all day. You can't handle, you a millionaire, you can't be, can't stand being in your house all day. Look at, I would love to be in my house all day. I'll be making videos all goddamn day long. I'll be writing music. I'll be getting busy. I would be getting busy. But I think he wants to, to move around, to get shows, to get money. I'm not sure. But it sounds like he wants to move around so he can continue to do dumb stuff. Maybe the house is what this nigga need because you, if you can't even function in a mansion, this man is locked down in a mansion. He's not locked down in the hood hearing gunshots. He's not locked down. Because in the hood, it's just a dark energy. In the hood, it's just uh, people just, you can feel like the depression. You can feel like so many people's lives just been wrecked. Wrecked by the system financially, uh, spiritually. It's just, just an eerie, spooky cloud that's over everybody. So you're not in that environment. You're in an environment when you have private chefs. You're in an environment where you got six, seven bedrooms and your kids are good. You're in an environment where your money keeps coming in. So if you can't even handle being locked down in a mansion, how in the hell are we supposed to believe you're a gangster and you can do some time? All the gangsters. Now, then, now, this is back in the days too. Even Al Capone. Every, all the gangsters want to do, want to do the crime, but they don't want to do the time. Nobody want to do no damn time. Nobody wants to do no goddamn time. Oh, time will get a nigga ass straight. Time will get any man straight. So it, it makes you wonder. This man can't even survive in a mansion. You ain't cut like that, bro. You, in my opinion, any man that can't survive in a mansion, you ain't cut like that. Not even, not just in the mansion. You in the middle of nowhere in Utah. It's beautiful. So you in a beautiful, beautiful area, beautiful home. Money still coming in, <laughs> and he said, "I got mental health." This whole mental health, I think, is starting to become an escape boat, uh, an escape goat for the BS. It has become an escape goat for the BS because nigg when niggas don't act right, niggas always looking for an escape goat. Oh, no, no, no. You are a gangster. Gangsters do the crime. They do the time. Like what, what juvenile say? You a paper chaser? You keep your Glock on fire? Remain in the G until the moment you expire, until the moment that you dead and gone. You know what it is. You turn nothing into something you handle your biz and don't be crying in the suffering. Don't be crying. That's juvie. Hot boys, cash money. Don't be crying in the suffering. You know what it is. You know what the lifestyle you signed up for. Now you got, you got mental health. You crying. You're depressed. Mm-mm. Because your victims was crying and they were depressed. When you put three in his head, four in his chest. Y'all flood my comments. Are y'all buying this mental health NBA young boys and other people like NBA young boy who push the gangster front line and then when the walls begin to fall, they blame it on mental health. Is is it legit? Is it legit? Is if it is a whole bunch of foolery? 250, capital G, rooted in music TV. I'm gone.